Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft. Um, I haven't been around for a good few days now, but I think obviously with uh, this coronavirus and everything, it's just everything's up in the air, which I'm sure it's the same for everybody. So I thought I would come on and do a video. Now, I've been wanting to make one of these for probably a year now, we just never got round to doing it. But seeing as we have Mother's Day coming up soon, I thought I would do one. And I was just looking at lots on Pinterest. Um, and it, I don't know what you call them, but it's a kind of a flower envelope, maybe. A flower envelope card, I don't know, something like that. But I've just made my own like little template kind of thing for me. Um, and this is basically what it's going to be and it's quite thick so we will just put all the flowers and I want it like quite dimensional and have them sticking out and stuff and I don't know if I can I'm, we might do a box to gift it in as well so I'm using this paper here which is the Fabrica Deco uh, Sentimental Story so I'm using that and I've already cut the bits out that I need. So to make this I've used the envelope punch board for it. Um, and what I've done is I've cut my card to nine and a half by nine and a half. And it's telling me that I need to score at four and three quarters but I wanted it to be you know thick like wider I think it's about three quarters of an inch deep so what I did was I start I did the first score at three and three quarters then I did four and three quarters yeah so three and three quarters and then four and three quarters so this is what I did for this one and it worked out pretty well. So three and three quarters and then I'm going to punch it and then I'm going to score. Now it's a little bit longer than the score thing so all I do is I just take it off and I just stay in the score line. Oh, just see is stay in the, in the score line. And then just kind of follow down the line, okay? Which it's a bit wonky, but we'll get there. And then I move over to four and three quarters, punch again, and score it. Okay, so we have our double lines. Turn it round and just match it up with the lines that we've scored. Punch and score. Go along to the next one. Punch and score. All right. And then just keep doing the same. Just keep matching it up with the score lines. What did I do there? Yeah, that was on that one, which was there. The match it up with the next one. And that's how I ended up with three-dimensional <clears throat> envelope. Now I don't want to fold this top one at all and I could have just not bothered with scoring it or punching it but I did do one and then I found that it was just all wonky I don't know so I thought I'm going to keep it right and I'm just going to score it because we're going to cover it with paper anyway. So we need some scissors And then we will fold and 
burnish these. But as I said, we're going to leave that one because it's going to go up like this now. These little pieces, these little squares at the bottom, what I did was I just cut up there like that and then I just took just a little bit out of them because they're going to stop it from like having a gap in the bottom. Because when we fold it up like this, they will just go in there, do you see? And then it will stop it from having a gap in the bottom and then the top ones we can yeah we can completely cut them away we don't need them me you should now have what looks like this so I'm just going to get my corner rounded because I wanted to have the corners rounded as well so I have got a piece for the inside now what I did to get these was I just basically measured from the top to the bottom and then I drew I put it on the paper and I just drew round it and that's how I got that and I haven't got a ruler with this but yeah and then it's going to be closed like this and then I did the same for the side and the bottoms that's all I did was I just cut I measured from there to there then I measured from there to there and I cut that out and then I stuck this the template I'd made on the top of the paper which only left is the shape at the top to cut round if you get what I mean that's how I got them yeah I'll have to trim them again and we'll put them on at the end but yeah that's basically what that's looking like isn't that beautiful and then I've got some to do with, to do the back as well we'll do that um should have done it now I suppose yeah just bear with us and I'll get the card for the back Okay, I'm back. Now, actually, I can show you how I'm getting all of these little shapes here. So I know I need a piece to cover this because this is the piece that isn't going to fold. So we can do it in one long piece. So what I do is I measure from here to here. Now I'm going to say six inches to leave a little bit of a space, a border, then virtually to the top which is here just to below the bottom and I'm going to go for eight and three quarters so I need a piece which is six by eight and three quarters which I've got that here and as you can see 
that would virtually fit on there okay so what I do is I just held it on there like that keep it still and then all I did was I just literally drew round it and that's how I did it for all of them and then I just cut on just cut slightly below the pencil lines so it's a little tiny bit smaller and then now hopefully this should virtually fit and it's not too bad but hey that's good enough for me so I am going to glue that on there I mean it's the back anyway so but it's still it still looks nice okay so I'm going to stick that on there I mean, it's not perfect, but it's as good as, so I'm happy with that. Now, I'm going to pop glue on these little tabs and we're going to stick this, glue this together. those little side pieces I just trimmed them with me scissors so hopefully they should fit now just glue them on there it could have been a little bit longer but it's okay now what you're supposed to do I think with these is basically fill them with flowers so it's a kind of box flower box envelope whatever you want to call it I don't know um okay so that's that looks really pretty I love that paper so what I've done is I've got a selection of some paper flowers and what I've also done is I've made some of my own now I'm going to show you them because I've wired them as well and I'm quite impressed and these are beautiful and they are formaran uh, is it formaran you call it formaran flowers and um, which is the, the the flower form and I've made them and then what I've done is I've wired them so when I've wired the stamens I've just made a really long wire and then I've just put some um what do you call that stuff again that tape for like florist tape and I've just wired them because I don't want it to be like just a few flowers stuck and it's flat I want it to be quite well I'm hoping it's going to be quite dimensional so I thought if I put some a few on some wires I can then instead of just sticking them to the back like a flower like that hopefully I could then just stick these to the front and move them around because the wired so there's no tutorial for this bit I'd like I say I just did these myself but maybe I could do one in the future if anybody wants one um, this is another one I made as well but I just hot glued the back so and that's another one I made too I'm absolutely loving making these former and flowers they're just beautiful I mean I inked them as well and oh, they're just they're gorgeous I could sit for hours and play with stuff like that and then what else I did was I just got some of my dyes and I just cut a selection of dies out of green card 
because I want it to fill it with greenery and stuff as well. So just really get whatever you can, whatever you've got. So I think for this bit I'll speed it up. Um, I've got my hot glue gun on and I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of potter away and um, you know decorate I think I am pretty happy with that. Um, I mean it does stand up but I think what we will do is we will make some kind of pretty box for it. Um, that's turned out absolutely beautiful just how I kind of had it in my head how I wanted it. Um, I'm just going to quickly just put some little some of these little hearts on. I think I'll put one there. I'm 
I might just dot these around actually and I haven't put a sentiment on because I'm not sure like you know what I mean who it's going to be for yet um, I don't know or I could put something on the box when I make the box so I'll see if I can upload um, a tutorial with a matching gift box I think that would be nice yeah I think I am happy with that that looks beautiful so I will have a tutorial for the box either later on today or tomorrow um, we'll see if we can make a nice box to match, like a fancy one. Um, and then you could like put tissue in to gift it or something like that. So I'm losing the light now. So yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you'll give one a try. I think it just makes a beautiful gift. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.